And this is more of a educational question, I guess, for people. How does someone prevent cancer? Mm. You know, and, and where does most of these cancers come from? Is it random that people just get it if they're whatever genetics? Mm. Is it their environment, their levels of stress, their food intake? Is mm. it you know anxiety that they're dealt with, trauma that they're not processing? What is the the cause of most cancer? There are cancers we potentially give ourselves from our bad choices. Really? Give me, give me an example. Smoking. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, but not everybody that smoke gets it. Right. And 20% of lung cancer people never smoke. So it, really? Right. Then where, they, where do they get lung cancer from if they're not smoking? So, uh, do you remember I was talking about the brain being this garden and stuff yes. like that? Well, our bodies, they're not an interesting garden in my opinion, you know, but they're, <laughs> they're a garden too. Their yeah. skin is shedding off, uh -huh. liver cells grow. So when things grow, they can sprout weeds. So area, parts of the body that don't ever change, like strangely, heart never gets cancer. Hmm. You know, so things that don't change don't sprout cancers. It's a byproduct of constantly having cells in our bodies die and regrow. And when you do that regrowth pro process, you're gonna spin off something that doesn't behave. So when, how do you spin off things that are healthy and uh, you know, flourishing the, as opposed to little mm -hmm. weeds here and there. How do you, how do you, well, you're do doing your both. Best? How do you do your, oh, so well, we're, we're, I'm talking about physiologically yeah. before we get to the mind. Yes. Thoughts, it's an interesting point. The, uh, thoughts can be thought of that way too. Uh, the body when it um, is 99% of the time is doing the right thing. We're, we're both here. But when you do it with the sheer volume of a lifespan and uh -huh. you do it over 7 billion people, you're going to sprout some cancers. So you get yes. cancers in the body, cancers in the brain. Can our thoughts become cancerous? That's a provocative. Uh, and can our thoughts heal cancer? That's a very provocative thought. I have not seen um, positive thinking. There's no, I'm not saying it's not possible, and I encourage people to do it, but I think positive thinking, um, meditating, um, optimi cultivating optimism, all of these things they do change the global physiology of your body. Okay, I think we were not just the brain, but the body. Right, and that in turn can affect what's going on in the brain. Mm. But I don't know if a thought can send an electrical zap to a tumor and hurt the tumor. But a certain way of thinking can make you have a certain physiologic response, sure. which there in turn could, you know, get in the way of cancer's progression.